even my psychiatrist, when I mentioned autism, was like, you can't have autism. You're too social. I have a friend from college that I talked to a couple times a year, and I was mentioning to him that last year I was diagnosed with autism. And again, his brain went to the two big criteria, trouble with social difficulties and repetitive behaviors for autism. And when I explained <laughs> a few things, his jaw dropped. I'm 52 years old, 52 and a half years old, and I was diagnosed with ADD at 50 and autism at 51. And I am slowly, gently learning about my autism and my ADD. And it's been really challenging because of the culture that I grew up in. I grew up in an evangelical school, college culture. So here's what helped my therapist and my friend John see more clearly exactly how I unconsciously masked autism for all these years. My special interest since I was a little kid, two biggies that still remain to this day are people and human behavior um, and dogs. And people and human behavior in my system, I, as a child, would have a sensory experience of incongruence with what was being said and what was being done. Of course, I didn't have the language for that, but I can remember as early as second grade. It's very possible before, but as early as second grade, I have very specific memories of this doesn't feel right. And my system... I did not have the words for it, but obviously was geared towards safety and acceptance. And so somehow I ended up in leadership roles because leadership roles serve, solved my social problem. I was on the social fringe. I wasn't on the total end, but you know, I was, I was accepted in social circles when it was convenient, but I was definitely a weird one. I didn't feel weird. I was treated weird. Um, and then as I, I was very good in sports in high school and that put me in leadership roles and then in college. And from then on, I have been in leadership roles and in leadership roles, there is a power dynamic that balanced out the awkwardness that created a safe sense of connection, but also distance at the same time. And when I brought that up, that, you know, people like, oh, you're so social, you lead retreats, you speak on stage, you do all these things, you run these groups, you do all this other stuff. Well, when I was in college and after college, in my 20s and 30s, all the way into my mid 40s, I drank a ton just to be able to be in the room. And um, I also slowed down my drinking around the time I got my autism diagnosis. And so it brought a lot more of the markers to the surface. But yeah, stepping into leadership roles socially and professionally gave me connection on my terms. And that is my biggest autism mask.